Hi, this is Brittany with Lectin Free Kitchen. Today we are talking about something I actually have an ebook written on as well, and that is eating plant paradox out at a restaurant while you're out dining or while you're out on vacation or even doing a brunch or a dinner with friends and family. There are a few different tips that will really help you be successful while you eat out. And it's really actually important to know these well because if you don't, you may fall into a trap that I really fell into when I first started Plant Paradox. And that was not going out with my family at all when they would go out to restaurants or my friends when they would go out to brunch. I thought it would just be too difficult to eat Plant Paradox well while being out at a restaurant. And I actually deprived myself of a lot of great memories and special occasions that I could have created with my friends and family just because I was so paranoid about ruining all of the hard work that I had put into really restoring and creating a healthy gut for myself. But if you know these tips and tricks, there is a way to eat out on Plant Paradox and do it well. So I'm going to share just a few of these tips and tricks with you today. The very first one I would recommend doing is do your research ahead of time. Almost all restaurants now have their menus online and that's so awesome because when you're driving to the restaurant, you can literally look up the menu on your phone super quickly and see what you're going to order before you even go. Better yet, if you're the one suggesting the restaurant to go to, you can do a lot of research ahead of time of which restaurants in your local area have food you can actually eat versus ones you don't, ones that use oils you can actually eat versus ones that don't, and ones that will allow substitutions when you order versus ones that won't allow substitutions at all. That's really important because when you're at a restaurant, you want to be able to make the best decision for you and your health and if you can substitute something for something that you can actually have then you're going to be winning while you're out eating another really great recommendation for when you're out at a restaurant is to just fall back on the greens it's a super easy go-to in almost all restaurants even jack in the box carl's jr and other fast food places now have salads on their menu so that's a very easy fallback if you're finding that you can't eat out or eat a lot of the food that the restaurant is offering fall back on a salad even the fast food restaurants now have packets of olive oil and vinegar that you can have with your salad so there's certainly at least something there and I will say it's better to be there and have a salad than not be there at all. Another alternative to falling back on a salad, if that's something that you absolutely don't want to do, is pack your own food. It's more and more common now with those who have food allergies or are very limited in what they can eat. You can pack your own meal and eat that at the restaurant instead of something that the restaurant also um, offers. It's totally okay. It may feel a little uncomfortable at first, but trust me, it's more and more common. Your friends and family will understand once you explain it to them. Nobody wants you to be unhealthy, and that's certainly a very valuable option nowadays. And like I said, it's even more common than what it used to be. A great recommendation too for cutting off that edge of starvation um, and feeling so hungry before you get to a restaurant is have a snack or a small meal before you go. You can have a handful of nuts, you can have an avocado, some approved cheeses, maybe a little bit of pasture raised chicken before you go to the restaurant. That way when you get there, you're not absolutely starving and totally forgetting about your meal plan. Another great recommendation when it comes to that is as soon as you sit down, if that restaurant serves bread, ask your server to not bring the bread to the table. That will really help cut out temptation and it will help keep you on track. Also, as soon as the server comes, ask for water and drink at least one to two cups of water before you get your meal because that will help keep you full and help keep you mindful of why you're at the restaurant and what you need to order and what your long-term goals are with being on Plant Paradox and how much more worth it it is to stay on track versus splurging and really not feeling well that night or the next day. 
A great recommendation too is if you have a big meal while you're out eating, the next day skip breakfast. Eat in moderation and try and do 80% right. Um, we're not perfect, we're, we're very imperfect as people, but what you can do is you can try your best and you can have balance and you can do Plant Paradox while still having a normal, full life and that includes eating out at restaurants with you and your family. If you're interested in our ebook, definitely check us out at lectinfreekitchen.com. We'd love to share with you. You can also comment below and we'll be happy to send it, but that is just one of the ebooks we have to help make your plant paradox journey easier, more doable, and they're full of tips and tricks just to help you be the healthiest and best version of yourself.